I'm Sophie Thompson and I'm going to show you a recipe from my new cookbook, My Family Kitchen. This is cheeky sweet and sour pork slash corn if you're a veggie. The boys love this one and it's such a quick tea to do. You've got lean pork, you've got soya, you've got pineapple chunks and you've got peppers and a bit of onion and a bit of sugar. That's it. The first thing you need is you're about 500 grams of um, your lean pork and this serves approximately four, obviously depending how hungry your people are. So just cut, cut your pork into bite-sized pieces really. Okay, heat up a, a glug of oil. I'm using peanut oil here, but you can use veg any vegetable oil. But I like a bit of nut oil with this dish, if you can get it. I get mine in Chinatown, if you're anywhere near a version of that. Get that oil hot in your wok and then once you've got your oil hot put your pork bits in and you're just going to brown these off. Dance them about with a couple of spoons. And if you're in the mood for that last bit, just to give it a little bit of extra browning at the end, just put a little sloosh of soya in. A couple of little slooshes. Just to give it a bit of colour. And now we're going to sift in a couple of teaspoons of corn flour. One, two. Just sift that over your pork. And that can just sit for a minute. Get acquainted. And calm down a bit while you do the next bit. Okay, I'm going to pour out the juice of the pineapple chunks. Comes to about 200, so I'll make it up with a little bit of water to 250 liquid wise. And then I'm gonna add that to my pork. Plus the chunks. There we go. Not sure I'll use them all. Okay, now we've got four tablespoons white wine vinegar. We've got 50 grams of soft brown sugar. That's a sweet bit. And we've got a tablespoon or so of soya. Tablespoon of soya. Get that all bubbling up in there. Starting to usual together. I just finely sliced an onion and added that to your lovely pork and pineapple. And next, I'm going to put in some pepper, the yellow and the red variety. Some of these in, in the classic sweet and sour pork style. That lovely strips of it. Just while it's quietly simmering there. Do it for about 20 to 25 mins, I suppose, depending on how, on the size of your pork bits. There we go. I think that's a good ratio of pepper to pork, I reckon. And yeah, just leave that to simmer away and gouge all together for about, yeah, 20 to 25. There you go. And we'll leave that to do its thing. We'll put the rice on. 
boiled some water and I'm just putting in about 240-250 grams of rice. For some reason I always squeeze half a lemon and plop the whole thing in with my white rice. I think it's something my gran always did. I, I don't know. Visually it's very pleasing and a blob, a little scoosh of olive oil in there. Leave that to simmer for a minute. We're going to heat up a little pan here and we're going to brown off 75 grams, approximately 75 grams of cashew nuts, which is our final ingredient for the sweet and sour. I've browned these now and I'm going to put them in to our sweet and sour and I'm going to turn this rice off and give it a draining. A lovely sprinkly of coriander on top. Sorted. 